Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mitchell Smith from Global Energy Metals. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. Thank you very much for having me on. I'll tell you, I sure had some foresight with the name Global Energy Metals. I mean, you're looking at acquisitions worldwide in your news release with Nor the Norwegians. Why don't we start start there, please, Mitchell? Sure. Yeah. No, we've we've uh, we've had a very busy uh, last several weeks, and uh, yeah, the acquisition with uh, of the the interest in the Rana uh, project in, in northern uh, northern Norway is very exciting for us. We think. Uh, you know that that uh, emerging battery manufacturing hub is going to need a, a significant supply source uh, in the, in the future, and uh, with uh, with development of Rana, I think we can uh, we can bring it there. And of course, let's just stress here: this is a past-producing Norwegian nickel, copper, and uh, cobalt project. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. So the Rana project uh, encompasses, uh, like you said, the the, the past producing Bruvan nickel mine, which was, you know, one of Norway's um, most significant uh, past producing nickel projects. And uh, um, so we're 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 very keen to um, to to move this project forward. And like I said, um, we see it as a, a near term uh, supply source for uh, for the European battery manufacturing market. And of course, I would like to apologize to the Investor Intel audience and tell them, hey, if you want to watch a company that's hitting milestones and hitting, you know, balls right out of the, the ballpark, they need to be following GEMC. And of course, you do a great job of social media, so there's no excuse for all of us not to be paying attention. But the reason I reached out to you, I believe it was just last week, was when you put out the news release that says, uh, per, uh, Global Energy Metal Permits First Ever Drill Program at Lovelock, Cobalt Nickel Copper Project in Nevada. Okay, that's very exciting. We've been following Lovelock for a little while. Tell us what's going on with that. Sure. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of emphasis being placed right now on 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 US localized supply chain and a tr you know, billions of dollars being being spent on infrastructure. Now, all of this is going to take an enormous amount of of these critical metals, nickel, cobalt, copper. Um, and the the Lovelock project that we have in in Nevada um, represents an, an opportunity to um, to be able to pro provide those uh, future material to to that uh, to that supply chain. Um, so we're going to do the first ever drill program on that project um, in in the coming months, um, and um, you know really be able to um, to provide some some uh, interesting results with uh, with this historic. Um, very high grade nickel cobalt uh, project. And of course, I get to hear what people say behind the scenes. So, for those of you out there that write me and go, he looks too young to run a company. I keep telling them to look at your board. Um, I keep telling them you're older than you look. Uh, could you tell them a little bit more about your, uh, you know, how credible you actually are as a CEO and why you're not only going to do this, but you're going to surprise everybody as a dark horse on the market, Mitchell? I've started from started from the startup. I've I've built a number of companies, been involved with a number of companies, and you know, and 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 get behind what I'm doing. Uh, willing to pull put my sleeves up and and make it happen, Tracy. And and you know, we we both know and and can appreciate that it really is a team that makes all of this happen. And we've got a, an exceptional team with Global Energy Metals. From the management right to the board, you know we've got guys like Basam Mubarak who built and, and sold mines in the past. So you know this is a, a an amazing time to be part of this company. Of course, I think honestly, Mitchell, we think you're at the right place at the right time. And for those of you out there that may be new to GEMC, could you give us a bit of an overview about the vision of where you're trying to take this company first, and why these objectives and news releases are so important to shareholders to make sure that they're following? Because you are moving quickly. For sure, you know we're we're again we're we're very excited about the space that we're in. The battery metals is you know the, it's it's on on page one of every newspaper across the world. You know global energy we're we're taking this uh, uh, um, consolidate and build and partner approach to to really advance and be part of the value chain within the battery metal space. So what are you going to do next, Mitchell? 
Uh, we've got a we've got a number of things uh, on the go. We're going to close off on this financing that we've uh, we've announced that'll really allow us to uh, to execute on on some of these corporate building initiatives. You know, like we said, we're going to go drill and and explore the projects uh, that we have in Nevada. Uh, we're going to further monetize the the, the projects um, that we have elsewhere in the world uh, as well, and our Australian assets and our projects in in, in Canada. Um, you know, and and we're going to work with partners like you to um, to really uh, to 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 really build out this story and um, you know correct the the current market um, uh, value discrepancy that we we have here with with the company. So, question for you: You got the acquisitions, you do the drilling. Are you then preparing to sell them, or are you going to actually get them to production? No, we're, we're, we we see uh, opportunities to, to to move them to a, a position where they're then um, sold uh, and and advance further with uh, with with strategic partners and and peers in the industry. Well, Mitchell, as always, it's a pleasure to get an update and and promise me you're going to come on at least once a month. You got too too much news flow; we can't keep up. <laughs> I'd love to be here. Thank you for having us, Tracy.